Welcome to the Super Chill Strategy Guides episodes, where we're just gonna, we're just gonna relax and do, you already activated that. Yeah. Uh, whatever, I'll just... I'll just uh, it's right, right there. It's yeah, I activated that off screen a few, a few days ago because I was gathering up stuff off, I was, I was gathering up stuff off screen for like, you know, <laughs> upgrades and shit. But do you really need to see the shrine get activated? We sh we at least showed where it is, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh no, you missed him putting the slate in the thing and the lights turning blue and the door opening. It's all shit you've seen a million times before. I think I'm gonna take a cue from you and turn the mic down just a little bit here. Just yeah. turn the microphone down. Oh bring this forward there. Just, <laughs> just, uh, just uh, turning the microphone down a little bit and moving it towards me because I'm the quiet one and oh this one that's mm -hmm. <sighs> oh you gotta strike the the thingies with a weapon to preferably not that one um how about this one Oh, this oh. is what I use to do most of my whacking. Okay. That's so right. you got to... We have to activate all these fans, right? Mm -hmm. or, yeah, at the same time. If you, you ever get confused, there's no shame looking it up online, except for everyone who ju will judge you. Okay. Uh, I have no shame in admitting that I looked up a lot of shit online, but only after trying to, you know, solve things legit le legitimately legitimate le legitimate mentally this one you can get a load of this one over here i'm just going to blow air on nothing oh blow me so now we got to set that way you just got to which so that fan over yeah, there this fan is now free I love how they have a little arrow telling you which way it's going to rotimitate. Alright. And now we just gotta turn this one. No, it's blocked. Oh, wait. Oh, it's... oh wait, 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 wait. You, you got it. I think you got it. Mark, Mark, keep that one. Th keep it there? Okay. Um. Wait, if you rotate this fan, though. Okay, rotate this that way. We could rotate that one that way, and then rotate that one? I, I What's guess. this fan over here doing? Oh. Okay, this fan over in this corner is blowing these. Uh, hmm. Okay, something has to blow these. Rotate that what one. What if I rotate this one? Get those blowing. Then rotate this one again. <coughs> you can whack it from any side. Okay, um, okay, so always trust, yeah. trust your instincts. Oh. Yeah, that one didn't need to be blowing those because those other fans are already blowing those. Now, the question is, where is the, the treasure, treasure chest? Because there's always a treasure hiding somewhere. Some of these shrines have two treasures. Oh, but it looks like something up there. Over... Uh... I, no, I mean like up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Going up. Link, just... Why? Just why? <laughs> At least he's not randomly parkouring. He was doing that earlier when I was trying to go down the elevator, but whatever. Okay, treasure. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, did that mean to go down there? Let's climb back up. There there was another ramp on the other side of the... Um, <coughs> if you go back down to where the lift is, there's another staircase going up that way. There we go. Ow. Wait, can you shoot an arrow through that? Uh, not a fire preferably arrow. Preferably not a fire arrow. Okay. 
No. No. Oh, you can pick your arrow back up. I think we gotta... Okay, I, I, I think I know what we gotta do. There's water on the ground. Oh, well, yeah, you can use... Chronosis. Um, you can also just shoot that with an arrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Da -da -da. Of course, it all depends on how far that arrow flies. Seriously? Seriously. All I had to do was shoot it yep. with a si Okay. Well, I mean, you could have also used Crygnosis to platform your way over that over there but this was and, the easier uh way yeah uh, okay. don't waste your arrows okay you can just jump down and glide over there oh. <laughs> well i said to do it a higher vantage point but whatever <laughs> Bang! Go light, pick up sticks. Well, Go resourcefulness and overcome. Well, I shut up. How many of these do we uh, just? We must have turned them in recently. Yeah, we. I think. I think the last thing we got was a stamina vessel. Smile upon you. <laughs> yeah, the last thing we got was a stamina vessel because we only have one heart. Container. Motorcycle! Did you know that originally they had an idea of, like, Link in modern times riding a motorcycle okay, for this? I know what we gotta do next, but I need an area that's a bit less... Oh, that looks good. Ow. What did you do? Fucking... Why did you throw your hammer? Uh, that was just... Eh, eh. Anyway, the point is, we're in a big open space now, so we can do what I wanted to do. <sighs> oh. Oh, hopefully you pick your hammer back up. Right. Uh, Zelda's right there. Oh, I have my amiibo in my, in my bag. Mark? If you... Okay. 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 Did you try to glide and press the wrong button or something? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you ended up throwing your hammer? What the heck have I been playing lately that would make glide that? I haven't played any games where you can glide. Except Sonic Mania. And I have not played as Knuckles! <laughs> oh. Even if you had, you would be, pre you would be pressing them. Okay, where that did I? Why didn't this work? I, I I did that before, and I don't know why it didn't work. Because you didn't have you didn't have the rune active. You didn't have the targeting thing. Uh, you pressed it on there when he didn't have the rune active. That's why. Oh, Paul. Okay. And now this link. Oh, I can't just take it back. I don't need it anymore. Okay, and over. Trousers of Twilight. Nice. Oh, by the way, um, I I don't think I shared this with you because I think you had already. You mean Toon Link? I him falling on the ground at some point near my television. Uh. I don't, I don't see him. This sucks. Well, um... You know what? Oh wait, I found him, I found him, I found him. Okay. I found him, I found him, I found him, and don't do it on the cliff. Do it, that's a good spot. Have I ever told you one time I... <laughs> Smash this fish. Have I ever told you one time when I was playing this on the Wii U, I... Went to scan an amiibo, 
Ooh! Nice. You know what? Never mind about throwing that hat. Except you might need it for mining. Anyway, well, yeah. Um, why did I throw that thing again? <laughs> I was like jumping down here and I think I... Uh, you, you flung it this way and I th it might have despawned by now. Yeah. Well, people usually have them laying around somewhere. Okay, so where are we headed now? Um, you had try a try warping checklist. try warping back to the shrine and then going to a store to sell some shit, like luminous stones. Right. Okay. <sighs> um, that that's the tower. The shrine is literate mark, like. You see the arrow where you're at? The shrine is, like, almost on top of you. That's right. I don't know why I was thinking of the tower. I guess because I really want to visit my favorite place, Fairy. And actually, just Fairy Femme, actually. I don't know why. I guess it's because it's fun to glide over to. No. And it has a nice... My, my favorite... My favorite fairy... I think you might have turned the volume down a little too much. Well, that's something the leveler well, can't see fix. what the level is. No, I don't mean the TV. I mean for the microphone. I was just looking at our audio waves. That's all. Okay. <coughs> so, just make your way to a shop. Not to make your... The other way. And then the mighty hero of Hyrule dies by falling down the stairs. Uh, a cooking spot. Yeah. Uh, little baby birdies all sleeping. Here we go. Oh, this is a shop. But it doesn't matter as long as you can sell shit. <laughs> it looks like you already got have the whole Rito get up. That's great and all, but what am I supposed to offer you now? <laughs> Oh, I hear there's a village that can dye your clothes and armor different colors. So you could always buy another Rito outfit and dye it another color. Color coordination is a serious business. What can I do for you? We have 300 rupees. <laughs> um, if we have any luminous stones, I'd say just sell all of them. Because <laughs> we got two. Just sell both of them. We're, we're going to start making some more. Okay. Well, they're worth more if you give them that one dude. Which one dude? The Zora guy. Which we haven't gone to yet. Okay. okay, right. Never mind. Never mind. We haven't even seen Zoras yet. I'm sorry. I think I'm still in the mindset of my own file. <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. Besides, um, Mark, by the time we get there, you're going to have a shit ton. Right. Plus, there's a really... Plus, near where that one guy is, there's a really good mining spot for them that I always go to. Okay, do we want to sell anything else? You know what? You can sell the amber... The amber relics. I mean, amber. All of them. That, that should be a, an option in other games. <laughs> yeah, I think it is an option in a few other games I've played. Okay, anything else we don't really need? Opal? Do we, do we need opals at the... Oh, uh, you know what? I can't remember what we use stuff for. Um, just just two. Just just sell two. How much does the Great Fairy need again? I, can't I don't know. We haven't gone there yet. It increases each one, but it would only be the second one we've gone to, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> just, just warp <coughs> over there. If you need more, Mark, enough, because where we're going is going to be a really good place for oh. farming luminous stones. So if you need more money, just farm luminous stone. Unfortunately, you threw your we you threw our mining equipment when you fell down the thing. Yeah, you might need to resort to bomb mining. Anyway, oh yeah, actually, I do a lot of bomb mining. Well, only problem with bomb mining is the explosion tends to cause the minerals to go wee. <laughs> you. 
Yeah, we we definitely turned in our last four, four orbs for uh, stamina. So the next four is going to health. So we gotta go. We gotta glide somewhere to the south ish. It's right there. Oh, pfft. I've been here a billion times. Oh wow. Um, I see what you mean about the luminous. Oh, oh, look at the shrines. Dang, two shrines right in. You know what? After you go to the fountain, um, wow, that was not on my checklist of agendas, but. Well, I, actually, after you go to the... I mean, you, we can just warp back there and then get to the shrines easily. Mm -hmm. The next thing I have in mind is an easy warp point. I can definitely see why you do luminous stone grinding over there. Yeah. Oh, before you grind luminous stones, Mark, why don't you uh, get out your trusty camera and take a, take a picture. Right, right. There we go. Save. Oh! One thing we can't forget to do. Take pictures of the dungeon bosses. Oh, okay. That, you were way off it. Bomb mining! Mining with bombs! Mining with bombs! It's so handy to mine with bombs! There's another tool I sometimes use for mining because it never permanently breaks. <coughs> I'm not saying what it is, but you all know what it is, but I'm not saying what it is. Can you... You have to sneak up on those fairies. Well, you don't have to, like, sneak. You just can't make too much noise. Very high up there. Sure, whatever. Hey, you don't have to actually use the sneak feature. You just can't make too much noise. There, you replace the fairy that you lost. <laughs> so let's see how much money she needs. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy, Ka <coughs> Kaisa. This place was a, once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I need capitalism to survive! Yeah. <laughs> I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. I think everyone should should share everything. Get out of here, you communist scum! <laughs> uh, uh... I am definitely not an allegory for Nintendo's financial state after the Wii U. <laughs> Five. Ooh, okay. That's the exact number of rupees that one guy gave us to give to the fairy fountain. Oh, yeah. Which is funny. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. And I, I did some off-screen shit, so we have the stuff we need to upgrade our current outfit at least once. Yes. Once the power has been restored, I can do great things. Boy, okay, yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're too kind. Ha ha! The power is over. She's like the armor from Twilight Princess. <laughs> that reminds me. I still gotta get Wolf Link the full power. Hmm, so you're the one who brought me back from the brink. Oh my. I see now that my first impression of you was correct. You definitely, you most definitely are pleasant to look at. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How would you like to live here with me? Hmm? 
uh, kind of on a journey. Huh, I'm kidding, of course. But you certainly are cute when you're blushing. I really can't thank you enough, boy. But that won't stop me from trying. <coughs> you have materials, upgrade clothing. And hands away! Best place. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh, that, oh, they've never seen that. Oh, okay, that's why right. I won't skip the, uh... Well... Oh, wait, you, no, it's different uh, for... That's yeah, right. it's different for each upgrade. Uh. I just remembered, there are some items in the world that, when twice enhanced and worn as a set, can give you a nice set bonus. Only some items, though. No promises! <laughs> enhance! Close your eyes. Honestly, they didn't really miss much. Yeah. Well, they've seen that before. That's just the first level upgrade, isn't it? Well, I think you skipped, like, near the end of it. Oh, okay. <sighs> Enhance. Hmm. And this one, too. By the way, the snow quill items, when fully enhanced, make it so that you can never be frozen. Huh. Well, uh, when, when enhanced twice, they give you a set bonus where you can't be frozen. I... <coughs> is there anything else, or is that it? Um, we got, we got materials needed to enhance the Malayan clothes, so why not? Mm. Yes, please. Uh... And we might as well... Wait, was that... Yeah, that was... D it's different for each level. Yeah, I knew. I know. It's just... I... We, we had already enhanced it once at the other fairy fountain that we found. About... That one's only... That one hasn't been enhanced. That one... Okay, this time I'm going to show them the full animation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh... I don't blame you for forgetting, though. She kisses her finger and... Boop! <laughs> There, now you've all seen it. Yay. I... And I think we got enough to enhance one more thing. The Helene tunic. Mm. After this, Mark, at least show them the materials needed to enhance our next set of clothes so we can enhance them off screen. Because I don't feel bad about enhancing things off-screen if you guys know what we need. Uh -huh. So you at least see in the video what we need, and then when we come... Okay, so... Do this again? Oh, yeah, sure. We, I mean, we got the items, so why the fuck not? Even if we never actually wear this ever again. <laughs> Okay, that's, I think that's all we can enhance for now, but... Alright, if you, if you talk to her again, she'll at least let you look at your clothing to see what you, what you need. Clothing... This, this is Mark's, like, favorite great fairy fountain because of those stone. Yeah. So, for the climbing equipment, uh, cl you need electric key swings and hightail uh, high lizards. By the way, for... What? Oh, we only need silent princesses for the champion's tunic? Uh, yeah, just three. Those aren't too hard to get when you're out in the wild. Yeah. <laughs> I know a few places where those are easy to get. The champion's tunic, by the way, gives you the highest amount of defense. Huh. So that's what we use Opal for. And topaz for those. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, oh wait, what? Wait, no, no, these three. Yeah. They all use the same. Warm, soft, 
Sophania? Huh. Yeah. Actually, those aren't too... We already got one. If we get a few more. Of course, we also need more red chew jelly. As well. Oh, that's it. Oh, did you look at the... Eh, oh, never mind. Speaking of upgrades... Hey, Mark. Let's go see what we need to upgrade our Sheikah Slap. Actually, before you warp, there's flowers all around here. What are they? Oh, Mighty Thistles. Never mind. Yeah, I collected a few of them on my way to get berries. Okay. So, let's warp back to the uh, lab here. And see what we need to upgrade our Sheikah Slate. There, there are some easy to... I mean, it all uses stuff that are dropped from Guardians, but there are some really easy things to get. Like, if you go back to shrines that have the little... the tiny little Guardians, you can get drops from them. You can loot drops from destroyed Guardians. Or if you feel ballsy, you can find one of the ones that are stuck in the ground and shield bash the beam back into them. <laughs> shield bash beam back! <laughs> Shield bashing beam backs. Good morning. Something on your mind? Something good? Ah, oh, I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. Three ancient shafts for the remote uh, bombs. Three ancient cores. For to power up stasis. Okay, do you, let's see if we have enough. Oh, I... Okay. Ancient materials! Let's see if we can power up the, um... Okay. Let's see if we can power up the sensor. I think we got... Yeah, three ancient screws and a cute snap. Snap! Hey ho, got it! Oh, okay then, Sheikah sensor upgrade underway! Guidance stone lock removed! Now, let's do this thing! We might have the materials to upgrade. Every Shut up, motorcycle! <laughs> we might have the materials we need to upgrade everything. <coughs> Flip! Now with that... Now with that picture that you've taken and this sensor upgrade, we can scan for luminous stones. Sweet. Mm. Now we can use the Sheikah, Sheikah Sensor Upgrade Complete! <laughs> Yahoo! Our little Guiding Stone did the trick! <laughs> oh, the Sheikah Sensor Plus! I really want to see it! Oh, every time you upgrade something, this guy gives you a little side quest. Huh. That'll give you some rupees, I think. Yes, quite. If you don't mind about showing si Simon that spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later. Okay, what other uh, Mark? What other items do we have in our inventory? Oh. Uh, materials. I want. Okay, so we have four of whatever that is. Ancient spring, four ancient gears, only two ancient shafts, and two ancient cores. So I think we need three of each different kind for an upgrade. So we're short for two upgrades, I believe. Which which material which ones do we need to upgrade which again? 
Uh, I can't remember. We'll talk to her. Ancient materials. Uh, remote bomb. Um, I try try saying yes. We don't have enough. Stop everything! You don't have the necessary. You don't have enough materials. <laughs> Scarabs. Okay. How about stasis? <laughs> yeah. No. We had, no, I won't do it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Should I just get that quest? Yes. From this guy. Yeah. Good morning. You've acquired the Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things you've captured with your camera. Explaining it won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sunshroom with a camera. There's one behind the lab. If you take that door that was right by him... And then keep the camera facing the lab and go around that way. Yep, there it is. Okay, now, and yes. And now I'll go talk to the guy. Don't pick up the sun shroom. That would be detrimental to what we're trying to do here. Ah. Were you able to take a picture of the sun shroom? Yes. Let me confirm. It seems like you got a picture of the sun of a sunshroom. Excellent. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of the sunshroom. And the Sheikah, the Sheikah Sensor Plus will be able to sense the sunshroom. Stop saying sunshroom. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. This seems like a nice opportunity to ask if you'd mind bringing me three sunshrooms. You can find sunshrooms growing in the Rust Rustam Forest, I believe. There's a sh the Sika the Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it a snap. It should make it a sn well you can go ga now you can go gather that sunshroom. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. That's obviously the first sunshroom we've ever seen. <coughs> I wouldn't recommend finishing this quest, but you can if you want. Uh Okay, what's next on our to-do list? We found two shrines. You want to you want to go and do those shrines? Yeah, sure. Let's go and do the shrines. Let's go and do the shrines. Okay, so we're back to that tower. Tabinthia front. I am a being of pure light! Woo 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 woo. Battle tips! And after those shrines, depending on how much time we have left, we might as well try to make our way to that shooting range and get on with the story. Yep. And when I... The shrines were the other way when we were... Okay. If you turn the camera, you have to... The see yeah I recommend going for that shrine on the right hand side first it's closer oh there's a little rock you can land on if you can make it there you know what would suck what? though looking at the forecast there's a shrine nearby! Alright, shrine, shrine, it's such a shrine. Shrine, shrine, it's such a shrine. If you, like, started climbing those rocks and then it started to rain. 
And it started to rain, and it started to rain. Yeah, the shine, the shine's up there, so... I haven't killed anything in this episode yet. Let's... Oh, this thing's almost broken. Are you gonna fight me? Are you gonna run around like a little... Are you, you a know wolf what? or are you a cat? I mean, a pussy. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I figure I'd I, I would... I would have. Just gonna climb and glide. Oh, there's a Korok seat over there. Oh, so there is. I don't want to like go after actively hunting these things down, but if we find one that's like, you know. Okay. This thing just goes around in circles. If we find one where it's kind of like easy to understand what we have to actually do. You know what I mean. Because... Oh, that's not the one I was aiming for! <laughs> hey, I don't complain. Um, oh, where are we? But jeez, how many of these things are there? I don't know, you're too zoomed in. It's the bow you're using. Some bows zoom in when you pull them. Nope. Now... Thank you! Yay, more gold poop. Okay. Uh, other way for the... I knew you'd come for me. You know the way they run around you and then lunge at you reminds me of PSO. Oh! Um, yeah, stay on the high rocks there. It's like, I haven't killed anything, and then you see flying guardians, and it's like, I... That's not something I want to try and kill. Oh, there's mineable rocks down there. Not that you would be crazy enough to go after them! <laughs> not yet, anyway. Hey, is there a Korok in that rock? Very suspicious rock. No. It might be used for a Korok puzzle around here, but, but, but again, um, not going to bother. Oh, hey, Mark, throw in the climbing, hell, uh, the climbing. Okay. Hat. Stand on back. Alright. Too steep to use my trick. You might be. I think you still have some stamina food left. Yeah. I, I don't think I used all of it on the tower. Oh, you might be able to make it. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm so used to navigating menus with the shoulder buttons, but it's like a menu within a menu. Uh, it's menuception. Okay. I don't need that much. I don't think. Remember, if you jump when the wheel is red, you go twice as far. If the entire wheel is red when you... Leap mark, you'll go twice as far. Oh, cool. I've, I've covered that in a previous episode, but it's an easy thing to forget. It's kind of like a last-ditch effort to reach the top <coughs> before you run out. Oh, ooh! There's some chance to get some more chew red chew jelly with your fire oh, arrows. Fire arrows, right, right, right. You're going to have to shoot them twice because your bow isn't that strong. Get some distance from these things. Um, okay. Uh, shoot them three times then. Oh! There it is. 
You keep <laughs> accidentally trying to throw your Okay. Yep, that's a trick. If you ever see Choo Choo's, you can... <laughs> that's a moblin over there. Honest to goddess moblin. Honest to goddess? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Zelda. Yep, that's what I that's why I said it. Honest to goddess, honest to goddess. If we can find some silent princesses. Too bad we're not in the uh, lost wood yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Once we once we get to the lost woods. <laughs> And Mark pays 20 bucks for some DLC. We'll start actively hunting uh, Korok seeds again. Perfect dodge. It's just kind of a thing where, like, if we if we happen to notice them, we'll go after them. But, you know. <coughs> because, if we get, because, honestly, there's so many of them. It ne Oh, it's a combat one. Oh, well, good thing we got um, guardian weapons. Question is, what level of combat is it? I don't know. Major test of strength. You can put, you can do it. Uh, but you might want to switch to one of those guardian swords. Okay. Uh, got a good shield. Just remember, you can you can bat their beams back at them. If you can take this guy on, though, you'll get some good weapons for your trouble. Remember to perfect dodge. This, if he does the sword, you perfect dodge to the side. Yeah. With the axe, you want to backflip. Backflip! What? Oh! What the? He hit you. Also, don't forget about your bombs. Your bomb arrows, I mean. Ah, uh, your guardian sword broke. Uh, it was going for the... To the s ah, fuck. To the side. Ah. Hey, if, um, I know it's your turn to play, but if you lose against this guy, can I give it a shot? Uh, yeah. Okay. Too bad we don't have any offense up. Ah, I too soon. Keep going too soon! Yeah, you really gotta have a feel Whoa. for them. By the way, you uh, can... He went a lot faster than I thought he was going to. Huh, I expected that to destroy that pillar. Oh, now your guardian sword is badly damaged. Sheesh. Your shield's gonna break at this rate. Ah. You can... By the way, you can uh, perfect dodge that spinning move. Your shield's badly damaged and you ducked for some reason. Ow. I thought, you know what, whatever, I don't care. I've beaten this guy before. At, with the same gear, actually. But it's been a while. <laughs> you, 
Yeah, then I'm not even gonna. I'm just. Okay. Come at me, bro. The oh, shit. I'm used to B being jump. Yeah, you might want to change that. Next weapon. Pillar, 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 pillar. <laughs> Hit that one. Um, okay. Yeah, he always rotates that axe blade. Go. That's a close pillar. Uh, again, press the wrong button. Because again, spin. Ah, on it. I jumped the wrong way. I was trying to do a backflip, but I accidentally pushed the control stick the wrong direction. Free hits. I've I've gotten fairly good at the uh Again, press the wrong button. <coughs> Let's see if I can Well, I dodged it. <laughs> that's that's kinda funny. <laughs> I figured I might as well use up that sword while it was... <coughs> now our most powerful weapon. I said back, not side! <sighs> I'm not used to the size of the Joy-Con control stick. It's been months since I've played this game, by the way. <laughs> Ow! What? Um... That was bullshit! Delayed reaction, anyone? <sighs> Didn't you make something that gives temporary hearts? Ah, you might have used it up last episode during the tower incident. I don't know what you're talking about, Mark. <laughs> <coughs> Andre, Andre, <coughs> or whatever. <laughs> uh, I think you're thinking of Toro Toro. I I've also heard people say the other thing. Ow! Uh, again, pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing B when I want to jump. Can't possibly imagine why I would make that mistake. 
I have my defense buffed and I'm still getting my ass hit. Hand it to me. Okay, you know what? Because Just this is the Dan controls. <laughs> Boop. There you go. Dang God, doesn't. What the? I was trying to get him in the eye. I thought you got him for a second there. <coughs> Fucking major tests of strength coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Huh. This is the first one we've encountered in this playthrough. Might as well just use up the rest of this sword. Then I said to jump back. The fuck? Okay, the timing for the perfect dodge is, like, as soon as he twirls the axe. Huh. It's like... Okay. Twirl. Axe twirl. I jumped too soon. free hits here we got free hits here okay yeah it's like <coughs> <coughs> the heavy hitter i said to dodge Higher defense. Here we go. <laughs> Even higher defense. For seven minutes and 40 seconds. Dang! What the? Wow, that's killed you. still. Fucking one shot at me. Why did we decide to do this again? Uh, I mean, we just found it. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I 
I mean, you kind of got it down to health halfway now. That's that's cool. Okay, when he starts doing that, when he starts doing that, you need to get some distance, and then. That's a hit! My bow broke. This one's got more attack power. <coughs> Spinning? No, wait, no, that. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I heard a ting. Okay, I don't have the perfect dodge timing down for the... For the little sword? Yeah. Defense buffs can't stack. Nope. What is that? Uh, grants low level movement speed boost. So I just eat our only one right now. <laughs> I guess. Or you could eat a whole bunch of apples! I don't think he's gonna ever do that charging move ever again. I, I can't wait for the eye to come around. There we go. Good thing I've got the timing down for the thing that can one-shot me. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly. Even if I don't have it down completely, he telegraphs that one a lot better. Doing this again. Awesome. Yeah, after he gets down to half health, he... Oh! He's activating... He's activating this mode! Ow! Uh, what button was it to shield bash again? Uh, Ability controls. Perfect guard. Where? Oh. A. Okay. I would have had it backwards. Oh. Okay. I was looking for... Our supply of apples. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, that took him out! Now get that pile of scrap. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Yeah, that was about my reaction the first time I killed this guy. Oh! You can't carry any more shields. Can I drop that piece of crap? <coughs> <coughs> oh wait, I think that gave us a shaft that we needed. Probably. You got a whole bunch of stuff. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like these rewards, even if they took up more than half the episode. <laughs> yeah, we're an hour in. <laughs> uh huh. Well, we can get that thing at the lab now. At least one of them. <sighs> yeah, I'll teleport back to the lab and. Sorry I took over part of this episode, but I think I'm a little bit better at the game's combat system than you. <laughs> That's not to say that I'm better at the game overall, because there's more to this game than just the fucking combat system. <laughs> But if you're getting your ass handed to you in a test of strength trial or something, then it's just... <laughs> yeah. I'm still pretty sure, or even though there wasn't a Korok under that rock, I'm still pretty sure that that rock needs to be used for a Korok puzzle. Huh. But there's like a Korok puzzle nearby that one rock. Oh, maybe we had to move it somewhere. Yeah, but there was flying guardians, so... <laughs> Ancient materials... Three inch shafts and an epic snap! Here I go! Hey-ho, got it, yo! Okay. Okay then, remote bomb upgrade underway! Uh, okay. I didn't sound like the move. Let's do this thing! Alright. <sighs> this episode was all about upgrading. Mm-hmm. We just need one ancient core and we can upgrade stasis. Which is the best thing to upgrade because it allows you to stasis enemies. Yeah. <sighs> Yes. Better bombs! I can't remember if it upgrades the damage or if it just upgrades the respawn time. I know it upgrades the respawn. Oh. Well, that's all of the stuff we got. We don't have another core. Yep. put that back <laughs> not that the uh extra defense did a whole lot <laughs> although trust me when you start upgrading your shit extra defense really does help though another armor set would have helped even more against those that guy yeah but i mean look at the loot we got uh huh. That's the least impressive of the loot, but <laughs> hey, it's something. Mm -hmm. Edge of duality. We still got this thing for when we go somewhere. I feel, you know, people complain about the destructible weapons, but I feel like more often than not, you you more than make up for it. Usually. Oh, I know a good place to get a hammer. 
Oh yeah, I know where you're going. Oh, mm. did we? Yes, we activated the shrine. I am a being of pure light! If I have the space for a hammer, I can repl I can get back the one you threw. I feel like unless you play really stupidly, they tend to give you more weapons than you break. Yeah. Like, I'm almost never not getting a net positive of weapons in this game. It really does suck when a weapon you really like breaks, but there's some easy places to farm for weapons. There's... If you go to a town or a stable, there's always weapons that are just lying around. There's some easy enemy fodder that sometimes easy enemy fodder carries good weapons. They just are sucky enemies. Oh... Uh, I think you have to, um... Come here when they're not working. Or... Hey! Need something for me? What are you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. Not a lot of buyers, you know. Is this the social commentary on the housing market? <laughs> So the villagers decided it was best just to tear it down. I can buy it. Hmm. Well, get a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okay. Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. You see this house? Been vacant for years. <laughs> so the villagers had a meeting. Ar argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition cost was a s with associated fees, permits, and other such details comes at uh, 50,000 rupees. You're talking about 50,000 rupees. You've got that much? I'll pay. Well, who would have thought? Little go-getter, aren't you? Heh, <laughs> reminds me back in the day. Alright. Alright, look. Here's the deal. Just for you, I'll cut... You, I'll cut you a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. Bundling materials. Building materials. You know how it is. Anyways, you understand the terms. Then get to it. And show me what you're built out of. That's a construction joke. Oh. Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. You got it! And now that we did that... We're stealing your sledgehammer. Sure, whatever. Oh. Well, we can't now, but... there That's how we can get an... In that infinitely respawns, by the way. <laughs> well, we don't have... We only have a tenth of the rupees we need, but... We've been picking up bundles of wood for a while. We can we can get a lot of this shit off screen, especially if we sell luminous stones. Yeah. We got seven right now. And there's some easy peasy mining squeezy places for them. Yeah. I sorted our inventory. <laughs> but yeah. You notice how he says it's been vacant for years and that you can buy this house? What if this was Link's house before he went into the resurrect uh, the resurrection uh, restoration chamber? How far away is this house from Hyrule Castle? <laughs> okay, so if this is Link's house. Let's play the trick. <laughs> Unless maybe his family live there? Well, I mean, what if what if that was his original house and then he moved? And then he moved to Hyrule. The, the, the yeah. Yeah. I guess it's or, possible. Or, you know, there's like shrines and stuff. He could have just warp to work every day. Yeah. He's he like, has a Sheikah slate. I wish I could warp to work. 
Of course, then I'd have no excuse for being late at all. <laughs> it's like, why weren't you here at the exact second? Uh, my car's dog homework stuff. You're just throwing out every excuse in the book. <laughs> okay, um... Alright, so that's it for this episode. Oh, right. head over to that cooking pot. Oh, right. We used up a lot of our food. Uh, what cooking pot? Um, oh, did they just have a campfire? Shit. Oh, wait, no, there it is, right there. Okay. Sorry, I don't cook. <laughs> now hand me those controllers, and we're gonna make something tasty. Maybe one of these days you should actually look up recipes for the game online. Mike's favorite treats are stamina-related food. So we'll take a stamina shroom, mix it together with an apple, and Mark is going to press the shoulder button, which does not take you through the item selection as much as the category selection. Yeah... Uh, yeah, I trust me, I did that a lot when I first played this game. I don't do it so much anymore. Okay, we've got four hearts. Let's see what we can make of this. Dun, 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 skipping the cinematic. Energizing then only gives you a little bit, but hey, whatever. Okay, go back to it. Let's try. We probably have a stamina fish around here somewhere. I think. My, uh, Armor, it's mighty stealth. Oh, and we, we used don't. up we used up all of our stamina fish. Well, defense is also useful. We'll combine an armored porgy with. We'll the combine men. an armored porgy with uh, a Helen shroom, and we'll throw in apple. And, uh, let's see what we get when we cook it all up. Cook it up. I mean, um. <laughs> minute 50. Four hearts. For one defense boost. Oh, um, hey, Mark. Yeah. Try, try to get a heart boost out of either. This gives a heart boost, I think. So does the hearty truffle. The, the truffle up there. But next to the bananas. Okay, I'll combine that with. About... And we got some heart fin. What, what happens if you pour in multiple ingredients that all give the same boost? Does it give a bigger boost? I haven't noticed that, but we can try it. Uh, okay. So, okay, the heart. Um... There's a hearty radish. A big hearty radish. Okay. Six. Holy Full shit! Recovery. That would have definitely helped us from getting one shot. It. <laughs> now we've got uh, the swift carrot. Oh, that's that's for movement speed. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, Mighty carp. That's for attack power. Let's cook that with some rock salt and a. Land don't shroom. don't use the summer shroom. We need that for a side quest. Okay. See, we're we'll, uh, gonna skip that, but whatever. Oh, that's it. Three hearts. Low level tech boost. Okay, keep on cooking. Back to stamina. Let's see. Throw in that. Throw, let's da, 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 the bass. And how about some honey for flavoring? Try to, the stamina recovery effect. Okay, oh so we'll no! Just throw an egg. Oh, and that's right. We need the coarse bee honey to upgrade something in the future. <laughs> okay, a little stamina and lots of hearts. All right. Um, I th I think that's good enough for now. That gives us that's that's a good amount. Okay. 
Well, thanks for... Why am you I were, glowing? You were standing in the fire. I didn't even know I could do that by, like, a... Cause... Whoa! Okay, that looked weird. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> well, defense is about to go, and so shall we. Thanks for watching, everybody! Oh, my stomach. Well, see... Eat my food! My stomach. See you next time! We've got oh. a s subscription button. Uh, 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 all the other playlists. Bye!